Today I'm going to show you how to make this treat holder. It's made from an envelope, as you can see. And this is the little pouch where you can put, you know, like a small Ghirardelli chocolate or any kind of miniature candy um, to give as a treat at Halloween. So let's get started. All right, first you're going to need a medium whisper white envelope. And we're just going to take that and fold it in half. And you're going to want to use your bone folder so that it gets a nice crease. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to flip that envelope flap open and you can see the line right here. We're just going to cut that. Just, just the flap. So once you've done that, we're going to open the envelope up a little bit and fold that right piece in. Then you'll want to lick this side closed. Okay. Once you've done that, we're going to add some washi tape to the inside. I'm using the Happy Haunting washing tape, and this is the Rich Ravelberry design out of that three pack. And I'm just going to put a little bit just across the bottom. Okay, and then you'll use your paper snips just so that you have a nice clean straight edge there okay okay and then I wanted to show you how to do this label we're going to use happy Halloween from the tiny or excuse me from the teeny tiny wishes stamp set and I'm using a Whisper White Craft Ink. You're going to need a small strip of Rich Razzleberry. This is just a scrap piece I found in my drawer somewhere. It doesn't have to be very large. Okay, And then I'm just going to stamp that. Then I'm going to use this punch, which is the washi label punch going to center that image right in the middle there and punch it out then we're going to add some dimensionals to that And one last thing, I'm going to use some old olive ink and the spiderweb image from the Witch's Night stamp set. And we're just going to stamp that little area like that and add the label to it. Alright, so our, as you can see, we finished designing the inside of it. Just going to close the pink up. Alright, so now we're going to work on the front. You're going to take a piece of Into the Woods ribbon. You're going to want some tear tape. And we're just going to put a strip, you know, just kind of eyeball it and you want it in the middle. This is just going to help keep the ribbon in place. Okay. And then just adhere your ribbon right over that tape.
All right. So we're going to set that back to the side again. You need a piece of old olive cardstock, and this is going to be two and seven eighths by four and three eighths. We're going to take that spider web image again from the Witch's Night stamp set and the old olive uh, old olive ink. We're just going to stamp a little bit random, just three or four times is good, like that. Then we will just adhere that. You might want to use tear tape on this, but just for this video, I'm going to use a little bit of snail. And then you'll just line that up with the envelope. Like so. I'm going to put this over to the side because we're going to need to get the big shot out. Here in just a second. Okay, you're going to need another piece of cardstock, and this is Whisper White. The dimensions are three inches by four and a half. We're going to use Rich Razzleberry ink. So now that that's good and inked up, we'll just stamp You could cut this by hand, but who wants to use scissors, right? So we're going to get the lots of labels framelits out. We're going to use the, nope. You're going to want the second largest one. To cut that out with. So you'll need your big shot, your magnetic platform, and your cutting plates. So you first start with your magnetic platform your first cutting plate, then you'll lay your cardstock down on that. We're going to put our framelit on top of that. Let's make sure it's centered. You really do want to use your magnetic platform with this. It makes it a lot easier to keep that framelit in place as it goes through the big shot without, you know, it's best with the stamped images so that they're perfectly centered. Okay, now we're going to roll this through. Now we're just going to add some dimensionals to the back of that. Okay. Now just remove the backing and add that to the middle of your green old olive cardstock piece. Okay, and if you notice on the sample, this 31 here I did in green, and also I added some sequin or rhinestones to it. These rhinestones come from the witching decor kit with, that makes that beautiful little witch hat. And I had some extra rhinestones left over from that. So I'm just going to put a few of those just at the top and bottom just to accent with, whoopsie. Okay. 
and to do the old olive circle part all I did was take a scrap piece of paper and I stamped the image that I stamped on this label except I used old olive ink instead and then you're just going to take the three-fourths circle punch get it centered and punch it out then I just used a little bit of snail and then just placed it right over that 31 that was in the rich razzleberry all right so then all you need to do is tie we're going to trim these down and tie it closed it just a little more. Alright, and there you have your candy pouch from an envelope.